All right, guys, good boy 32 here checking out. So, yeah, man, this is the day after of the mother of all three guns. And let me just tell you something. It wore us all out. First of all, I just want to give a big thanks out to X-Ring and Sam, who and all the other guys, Jared, uh, Mike Willis, uh, Mike Sexton, all those guys that help uh, put this thing together, as well as the crew that showed up, uh, JJ, John James, uh, who has got an a awesome Instagram uh but uh, anyway, it, we went in the day before, set this thing up, Don. I'm not forgetting about you. And uh, when we were setting it up, it indeed became a, I, I just want to say, uh, probably a three gun, not just in shooting, but it was a mind game. It was like they were, we were hiding targets in the woods. There were four clays that you, you had to be in four different positions in order to shoot those things. And it wasn't just loading it up and going. You had to think. And then you had to shoot. And you then you had to shoot long, short, medium. You needed to learn how to, where to put your slugs in. It, equiv it, it equated to a major event. And I kind of feel bad for the guys who were just starting out uh, because the timeouts were really short. It was a professional level three gun event. And X-Ring, you are indeed an evil individual for doing so. But uh, we had a great team in our squad. I uh, had uh, Isra 6 cover Rick. We had uh, Mel Fogg, my dear friend. Uh, well, we're all dear friends. I'm not going to say that. But uh, Pop's Quest. And uh, it's always interesting because he and I have had always a, a, a small little internal uh, competition. Well, we all did. Um, Isra 6 covered. But I can't tell you the number of times when uh, Pop's Quest and I end uh I mean, we were, we're neck and neck. We, we are always either 22, 23, 19, 20, 18, 17, 9, 10. And in this case, it was no difference. Uh, in TAC Ops, out of 36 people, we, uh, we placed 10th and 9th. He beat me by one place. And, uh, but all day long, he was cooking my rear end, uh, as far as the, uh, the competition was concerned. Uh, for me, I did a little bit better on the long distance stuff and it brought the scores a little bit more even and we finished ninth and 10th uh, on, on, in our division, uh, 22nd and 23rd overall out of 64 shooters, which is not bad. Uh, I'd like to congratulate our RO, uh, Mr. Bryson Allen, who uh, finished first overall. Uh, he was shooting open class. And then again, uh, Matthew Pierce always that gentleman, he just knows how to shoot, and I am just, I'm, I'm, un, I just can't believe. Every time I see him shoot, it is awesome. Okay, so uh, at the end of this video, I'm just going to show you some highlight reels of me shooting. Uh, it was not, it was not a, the, my best three gun. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was disturbing. Uh, I was not happy with my performance at all. I felt like in so many different positions, I could have done a lot better. But at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and play that action reel. Later on through the week, we'll do some comparison stuff between myself, Pops, Quest. Uh, Bryson's going to send me some videos. We're going to put some of him. He's a team shooter for uh, Cobalt Kinetics. Really, really cool stuff. So let's talk about things that we're going to come up this week. I just want to give everybody a real quick. Oh, by the way, happy Mother's Day. I want to give a big thanks out to Primo Targets. Sent these guys out right here. I'm going to be doing a review on these as well as you're going to be seeing these being used uh, in our long distance and pistol competition, our pistol reviews coming up. Uh, half inch steel AR500 plates. And uh, also, he sent out these really cool hooks right here that can either go on a T post or circular post or whatever else you want to drive into the ground. But these are really nice. I believe these are made out of AR500 uh, plates as well. But that is Primo Targets, and that's spelled P-R-I-M-E-A-U-X. Next, we're going to be doing a full-blown review on this guy right here. This is a Romeo 5XDR. This is a pretty cool little deal. This is kind of like the Romeo 5, but a little better. And then uh, I'm going to be putting it on this guy right here. This is a really cool 10 and a half inch AR pistol, but I thought it'd be a great platform because this is already a little bit of flat dark earth being used. And then uh, in a separate review, we're gonna be uh, putting this Romeo Juliet, oh no, this is the Juliet Magnifier 4 Power. So this is gonna be a really cool deal. Yesterday, all my equipment ran absolutely spectacular with the exception of this guy right here, my Benelli M2. 
uh, and it's covered down with oil right now because the whole thing, uh, you know, what I should have done was pulled this thing out of the case yesterday and rubbed it down with some oil. I didn't, but we're going to, we got it saturated right now. I will point out that this Riley handguard did play an instrumental part in the success simply because man it's absolutely it makes this gun into a separate firearm but i was going into some jamming situations and i have a feeling it has to do with this carbon fiber tube we're going to change that out with a nordic components and see if that improves but almost every single stage uh, i was experiencing a jam and i don't know if it was because i had the coupling up here or not but we're going to change that out so anyway, I'm going to be doing a full-blown review on this Briley handguard here probably in the next week or so. But yeah, it tested out, it performed, it locked up, it is awesome! Long distance. One of the reasons why I was very successful on the uh, long distance range was simply because of this guy right here. The Primary Arms Platinum 128. Uh, this gave me the ability to see out the 8 power and the ACSS reticle was on par. We actually took it out and tested it shooting in conjunction with the 77 grain, and it really, really made this thing great. And then through the wood sections, I was able to use the 45 degree cant sights. Unreal. Uh, and as always, the Shadow 2 ran flawlessly, along with my awesome reloads. All right, guys, well, that's it. Uh, got a lot of things coming up. I can't wait to shoot. I've, I, You know what? When you're shooting steel, it makes the videos more fun. Here comes the uh, highlights, and I'm sorry for the longevity of this video, but we got a lot of stuff covering up next week. But I'm going to tell you something. This guy right here was the reason why I was able to play so close to uh, Pop's Quest, the ACSS Reticle. And I also want to congratulate him. He took his uh, DMR scope with ACSS Reticle to 3 to 18, zeroed it at the specified distance for the round and the muzzle velocity, and he shot out to 800 yards and the look on his face, and again, we didn't have it on video, but the look on his face was like, I cannot believe that just happened. So now he's an ACSS believer. It's good boy 32 If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom is free. It's not free. Get in the cage ready. Stand by. All right, well, here we are, man. The, the team train wreck rides again. So uh, anyway, like I said in the video earlier, this is a, this three gun is an mf -er. Uh Ray has outdone himself as far as uh, creating a very challenging uh, three gun that equates to any level three major match in the country. And uh, honestly, we uh, we didn't get a lot of sleep last night just stressing out about it. Uh, but you know, we're gonna have fun, and I think that's the key element is to just try to remember to have fun. Not gonna be a whole lot of videos today because uh, the concentration level is going to be focused on the uh, course itself. But any guys, uh, anyway guys, we'll uh, keep you guys posted on what's going on. May see just one video come out of this uh, whole adventure today, but man, this is going to be fun. Y'all be good. Stand by! Well, we did the first stage of the day. Uh, it's actually started off at stage six, which was our first stage because we're in squad six. But in any case, uh, I think out of our entire squad, only three people made it without uh, timing out. Yeah. Um, Rob did a really, really great job. He kicked my ass for sure. And uh, still timed out. But yeah, but uh, it's going to be fun. I actually ran out of shotgun shells. That's this is how challenging this thing is. So moving forward, I'm going to be using his chest rig plus my other rig because I sure as shit ain't going to let running out of ammo be my downfall. <laughs> so anyway, we're moving on to stage one, which will be our second stage of the day. And uh, park right up there on this side of the mill. And then uh, we'll uh, tell you guys how it goes after that. See ya. Deep thought. And he forgot his rifle mag. Hey, uh, Coda boy, what'd you forget there, buddy? Watch, this will all get edited out. Rifle mags are pretty key. They're key. You we might got, need them, you know, if he's playing on This is Bryson. Yeah. Right here, Bryson. Yeah. That's a 
That's a uh, titty tattoo right there. Bryson shoots on Instagram. Follow me, please. That's right. Follow him. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. He shoots okay. All right, Coda Boy, stage one. Here we go. He chooses the rifle first. Got six paper targets to engage. Man, he's having fun now. Full auto. Picks up the old 12 gauge. Nice. Reload. I've got to help babysit once in a while. Oh, cool, boy. Oh, come on. Baby. Bad choice of chokes, I'm assuming. We've got three more in the plate. We got, we got an official team train wreck. Trucker, trucker. Choo choo. All right. Gathers it back. He's ready. One more there. Nicely done. Clay. Clay. <coughs> Video tape by the Crazy Scotsman. Three slugs. Take your time. Eat it full. Eat it full, Coda. Four more. Four more. Four more. <laughs> reload, reload, reload. Keep going. Load that bitch. Um. All right, make sure you guys all get over to Is Your Six Covered. Go ahead and subscribe. He's a great guy, best guy I ever met. See you guys on the next Coda Boy 32 adventure. Stand by! Over! Over. Yellow one first, yellow one first.
shotgun. God damn. All right, so check it out. I've got uh, Mr. Bryson. He is performing an absolute amazing job as an RO. And then Rob today is kicking my rear end. Do I look red or is that just the camera? No, that is you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all getting sunburned. Um, there's Mel over there in his uh, air-conditioned truck. He's hanging as he's so waving. But we're waiting on a uh, crew to get out of our way. Uh, this is the double long. So what we've got is you we're going to be shooting out 480 yards. Uh, then we've got a jungle run back to a 480, and you've got some pistol on top of that. So I've been fortunate enough to get some videos out here. Not really super duper videos, but they've been fun. And uh, the, the ones with me in them are the best. So. Well, his he looks better than I do. He's in much better shape, uh, a lot brighter, smarter. Anyway, it's turning into a fun gun just because these stages. This is. This is a real deal three gun. This is a, a, a what, class three I don't major. Know, level, level two, level three. Level three. It's badass. But uh, we've just been uh, working our asses off. We've got two more stages left in the day. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. So I might get this video out tonight. But I know that one thing. There's some maker's mark in my immediate future. You guys <laughs> enjoy. we got two more stages. Here we go. Shooter, get on when you're ready. Stand by. Hit! Hit! You're finished, unload and show clear. Check it out! Check it out! From the front to the back. To the tip to the rear. I'm sitting here with my good friend. Oh shit! Look, look, look at, look at that. <laughs> you squish. <laughs> anyway, the side. uh, there's Lindell. Well, hold Linda. on, Linda. Yeah, thanks. Lindell. <laughs> Lindell, even better. Linda. You know? <laughs> Linda. All right. I've been yeah. fucking up your name all if, day. If you never been right. next to this guy, he's a big ape gorilla. All right. I'm so actually here's the thing. Two. Hold on. Look at, look at that. Pops quest assistant. Look, he is that guy right there. Look at him. That's why he's kicking ass today. He's doing good. And uh, we'll I, be buying the beers later on. I screwed this stage up. Yeah. So. You did good. Uh, this did is good. my best stage of the day. I, I, I've run one stage out of six uh, clean. And like I said, this has been the most difficult three gun I've ever seen. Uh, we got Matt running next. He's the man, the myth, the legend right there. But it's been raining, thunderstorming, and everything else. But it's uh, the you ready. best aura. There it is. Car coming, Rob. Car coming. And uh, it, it's been a long day. Anyway, uh, what time is it? Anybody have time? Yeah, 5.30. Yeah, it's 5.30 right now. We're still not done. And this is how long this day has been. These, these stages are huge. Anyway. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. Hey, your son is working. Hey, you know what? You can use this as uh, evidence. He That's is still working. He's not at the bar okay. drinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happens when you put a Samsung and an iPhone... This is a Google phone. Look at the oh, color. That's so much greener. 
greener pastures. Bad boy! Oh, you killed her bounce on yours there. It's because you like it all white and out. There's a gun in there? Yeah, Robbie! Hard left. Get it, buddy. Got this. Show me how to do this. Go! Yeah, get it, Robbie. Two more. Good, Robbie. Real good.